see. Folks, I love that country cooking. Country cooking's the only kind for me. The D.C. Central Kitchen says they're always happy to see Washington Gas volunteers. Washington Gas is always a gas to have. It's always a pleasure having you guys here. You, know, you guys come in and take right to your task. D.C. Central Kitchen uses donations of store sent surplus food and turns them into wholesome meals for those in need. We service over 88 different agencies and that's from anywhere from halfway houses to shelters like the one that we're attached to. This kitchen dishes out 5,000 meals a day. Such a tall order is achieved by the help of volunteers like these. I brought my daughter. She has experience volunteering in kitchens and wanted to come along tonight and help too. For three hours, our volunteers did everything from chopping peppers, same with broccoli. How's broccoli chopping going? Broccoli chopping is going just fine. <laughs> All these for lots of veggie mac and cheese. And your job today is? Cheese grater. <laughs> Whether it's doling out oodles of noodles, making crumbs from day old bread, or preparing many piles of potatoes. The greater cause had everyone happily working away. And it's beyond just feeding people, it's, it's changing lives. And um, it's great to be a part of that. With and through sweat and tears. I came back and there was still more onions. They don't like me, but I don't care. Our employees love doing this work because they know their volunteerism, this time with food, really does strengthen our community. I get the same thing y'all get, and that's the personal fulfillment. You know, that's self-fulfillment, knowing that you did something that has an impact. You know, and I think that's really important. Miriam Nabazad with Washington Gas.